If you've ever thought about creating a Discord bot, you might have searched on YouTube for tutorials on how to make a Discord bot without coding. You may have seen many videos about bot without coding, and even I have made some, however. The problem is that these bots aren't 24-7 online, and most of them don't work. Even some of my videos have become outdated. The issue is that they provide a bot source code, which you need to host to make your bot work. But this video is entirely different. As today, I will show you how to make a Discord bot without coding that runs 24-7 for free without using the source code method. The first thing you have to do is to create an application. Come to Discord Developer Portals and click on New Application. Enter your application name and agree to their term of services then click on Create. After you've created your application, navigate to the Installation section, scroll down to Guild Install, then in Scopes select Bot, and then set permissions, you can opt for administrator rights or leave it blank. After that, go to the bot section, scroll down, and enable the message intent option. Enabling this option is essential. The other two options are optional if you're using the bot just for yourself. Now, scroll up a bit, and you'll see reset token. Click on it, then click on yes do it, and a token will be displayed. This is the bot token that we'll use to activate and bring the bot online. So save it somewhere. After creating your application, visit the Shapes website. This is where we'll create the bot without needing to code. You'll find the link in the description, alright? So simply click on sign in with Discord and use your Discord account to sign in. After completing these steps, you'll see something like this. Now to begin creating the bot, click create shape and your bot setup will commence. The first thing you'll need to do is name your shape which will appear on your shape homepage. Next up is the shape's backstory. Listen closely because this backstory is how the shape will introduce itself. You need to describe the bot's personality here, like you need to explain why and how the bot was created. It's as if you're projecting your own interpretation of the bot's personality. Also, if you provide a short backstory, the bot may not function as intended. Be sure to give a brief backstory to clearly define the bot's expected behavior. For now, I will provide a short story as I'm just showing you some basics. Now if you move to the advanced section, you can customize it further. You'll be able to adjust its personality traits, such as making the bot funny and smart if you prefer. Furthermore, you can adjust your bot's tone, specify its age, and optionally provide a brief backstory. Additionally, you can indicate what the bot likes and dislikes, other than that you can enter your bot goals and some other things. You can check them later when you are here. Once you are done with everything, simply click on create to create your shape. Now, the final step is to paste your bot token here, copy the token from the Discord developer portal, if it's already copied, just paste it here, then click activate shape to bring your bot online and activate it. Once you've completed these steps, your shape is created, click add to server to add the bot to your desired server. Bruh. In advanced settings, if you go to your profile, you can customize your shape's profile, including its profile picture and banner, etc. Additionally, you can alter the appearance of the bot, including how it looked like, and its initial message to users, for instance, if someone says hi, then the bot will reply, hello motherfucker. If you scroll down, you can edit your bots about me section, but make sure to include their discord server in your bots description, besides that, you can also change your status, like setting it to do not disturb etc. You can also change your bot activity status like setting it to streaming etc. If you navigate to the free will section, things get even crazier, here, you can enable more features for your bot and make its responses more accurate according to your preferences. You can choose your free will level, and also enable or disable direct messages so users can chat directly with the bot, additionally, you can set it up to react to messages by simply adding an emoji. You can add keywords of interest to specify topics the bot is more interested in and likely to respond to. Like you can add funny, games and coding, etc. Now the free will instructions is important because here you can customize your bot's responses, if you see here, it states that the bot will always respond with short messages, limited to 3 sentences. So if you want, you can change it from short message to long message so the bot response will be long, just like this you can change other things if you want, if you don't want any of these you can remove all these instruction and give your own. The last thing is your AI model, here, you'll find a variety of AI models available for your bot to use, such as ChatGPT4 and Gamini, and many more. So select any model you want to use, and your bot is ready to respond exactly as you've instructed. Now, the last thing I need to show you is knowledge, from here, you can customize your shape by adding links to specific websites. This way, your shape will gather information from those websites of whatever the user has asked for. For example, you can add a link to Wikipedia or a specific topic, such as wikipedia.org slash artificial dash intelligence and this will help you get more accurate responses. Alright, so come to Discord and you can see the bot is online, to begin using it, just type a slash command, and you'll see all the available commands that you can use. To activate the bot, select the activate command and send it, from now, your bot will respond to every message in this channel. Now, just send any message to start chatting with the bot and verify if it's working perfectly, as you can see, the bot is functioning flawlessly. If you check the commands, you can also enable the free will option, this allows the bot to respond without being pinged or activated, and will follow the instructions that you have given on the free will page. 
Okay, so that's the method to create an AI bot without coding. Besides text messages, you can also enable AI image generation which will help you create images from text. So, this is the end of the video, and I hope this video will help you in creating a bot without coding. Thank you for watching and peace out.